Well, hello, 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 everyone. It's your girl, Tanisha, and I am here because I want to share with you a new product that I have. Now, how many of you like waffles? A lot of you. How many of you like Belgian waffles? I personally prefer a Belgian waffle because I want to load it up with fruit and syrup and whipped cream and all of that. So I love Belgian waffles. In fact, every Christmas morning, I make Belgian waffles for my family and I have a lot of different sides and stuff. Well, I have a new waffle maker and no, this is not it. Um, I love this waffle maker. This is one that my brother, thank you, Monet. My brother had got me this a few years ago. And this one is a Bella Cucina uh, waffle maker, Belgian waffle maker. And it has served my family well. You're able to make one waffle. Um, this dial here allows you to dial in the darkness or lightness that you want your waffle to be. And it has a red and green light to let you know when the waffle is ready. And it even comes with a drip tray. And I love this waffle maker. Like I said, it, we've been using it for years. It's great, but I had to upgrade. Why? Not because I just wanted the latest and greatest thing, but what ended up happening with this one is once you actually pour the batter in and close it, you have to turn it this way so that it can start cooking. But these little notches in here have worn somehow. I don't know how or why. And as you can see, it doesn't stay level. See how it just dips down, which then sometimes causes the batter to come out. And so sometimes I'll put like a mug or something under here just to keep it level. And so I was like, okay, no more this, gotta go. Still works, still makes great waffles, but you know, I need perfection. So hello to Crux. This is the new Belgium waffle maker that I just got in the mail today. Yes, I ordered it from Amazon. Y'all know me, I am the Amazon queen. Um, but I am super, super excited to get it. It's called the Crux Double Rotating Waffle Maker. So yes, I can now make two waffles at one time. And so what I love about this, it still has the little notch thing here. So I'm hoping I don't have the same issue with over time, the little notch wearing, uh, wearing away and tipping. But all you have to do is press the button and it opens the top. And look how pretty this copper plate is. I love it. And how cute is this? Yes, it comes with its own measuring cup. So you just pour your batter in here, you pour it in there, and this way you always put the right amount of batter and you don't have it oozing over the side, but it's okay if it oozes. It also comes with a drip tray. And then you pour your waffle in, close it, turn it, press the button, open it up, Pour your second batter in, close it and wait. The other thing is it has a dial here. So you can dial how light or crispy brown you want your, um, your waffle to be. And then it has the on and off switch here. And of course it has the plug. And what's cute about this, if you look, the plug, and I'm gonna, I tell you, it, I literally just took it out the box. So it still has the plug all tied up here. But it has a little cord thingy here. So you can wrap the cord around just like that. And boom, now you can hide your cord. How cute is that? Do you not love? I love it. Do you not love it? I love it. I cannot wait to use it. And of course it comes with the instruction manual, but here's a cool thing. 
The instruction manual also has some recipes. So I'm gonna read off to you some of the recipes that are in here. Um, so we have classic buttermilk waffles. We have whole grain waffles. Ooh, this one sounds good. This one sounds right up my alley. Banana stuffed blueberry buttermilk waffle wedges. Ah, that sounds so good. Banana stuffed blueberry. You know, I love my blueberries and I love my banana. We also have a recipe for, get this one, gluten-free Italian sweet pepper and onion waffles. Hmm. That sounds interesting. Let me give you some of the ingredients for that one. Chopped onions, sweet peppers, sauteed, kosher salt, gluten-free baking powder, baking powder, garlic salt, three eggs, coconut oil, and almond milk. And then we also have a recipe for sweet potato vegan waffles. Hey, Skylar. And then we have another one for grilled Italian sausage on savory herb waffles. We have one for avocado, pesto, and cilantro waffles. That one does not sound uh, tasty to me at all. Then we have coconut, pear, and walnut dessert waffles. Now that sounds good. Now, of course, you hear Skylar, right? The moment I start recording, here she comes crying. I'm not getting off camera, but would you like a treat to keep you uh, occupied? Would you like this? Sit down. Come here. Come here. Sit. High five. Good girl. All right. That should keep her busy for a little while. <laughs> All right. So I told you about the coconut, pear, and walnut dessert waffle. That sounds pretty good. And then we have strawberry loves chocolate waffles. Now that sounds, ooh, that might be a great recipe to do for your bae for Valentine's Day. Strawberry loves chocolate waffles. My husband loves chocolate. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but like he loves chocolate. Like he would, if there was a vanilla cake and a chocolate cake, he's gonna take chocolate and decline the vanilla. Um, now, how many of you make your own batter from scratch? Anybody? Anybody? No? Comment below if you make your own batter and, and, and what do you put in it? I'm gonna tell you what I use. I don't do it from scratch, but I'm gonna show you the batter, the store-bought batter that I use all the time. This is my go-to, the Krusty's Light and Crispy Belgium. I live for this. This is the only one I use. Now, what I will tell you that I add to this, because you know, you, 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 you gotta doctor it up. How many of you know about doctoring it up? It's, it's when you take something that's already made from the store, but you know, you gotta put your little flavor in it, your little twist, right? Well, the way I, uh, put my little flavor in here is I always add a hint of cinnamon. So I use this, put a hint of cinnamon, and it just, mm, chef's kiss. It's really, really good. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this. I think I'm gonna go on Pinterest and look up some other, actually I went already. Um, there's so many different recipes that you can do with a Belgian waffle maker. You can treat it just like you would a panini press. Um, so you can do grilled cheese on here. You can make quesadillas on here. I just saw a cool recipe for pizza. Um, so I'm gonna actually get my son and show him how he can use this to make pizza because uh, my son would live off of pizza if you let him. He loves, loves pizza. So add, you know, getting some of those tortilla um, shells and some pepperoni, some pizza sauce, a little bit of mozzarella, guess what? He can make his own pizza. So I'm gonna show him how to do that because um, I want my son to be self-sufficient, right? Not dependent on mommy to cook because mommy doesn't like to cook like she used to. And uh, whoever gets my son as a husband will be very thankful that I taught him how to cook um, so he can make some his own stuff without me. So guys, what do you think? Anybody in the market for a 
Belgium waffle maker. Have I inspired you to want to take a look at this? Um, I am going to post the link, my referral link to Amazon of where I got this one. It wasn't too expensive. I'm trying to remember how much it was. Maybe $89, $99, maybe, I think, somewhere around there. But I'll post a link below, a referral link. Of course, if you do um, order it from my link, I do get a little commission on it. But I am excited. I'm excited. And you know, the other thing that I'm probably going to use this for is brunches, right? I might have the girls in the neighborhood or my friends, my business partners come over and this would be a great thing to use for brunch because I can make some breakfast stuff and even some lunch stuff with it, right? If I do a grilled cheese, of course, I'm going to make it a gourmet grilled cheese, right? It's just not going to be, you know, regular yellow cheese. No, we're going we gonna to get exotic with our cheeses and our fruits and stuff. So I'm excited about this. Again, I will post the link to the description below. And uh, let me know if you order it and what kind of recipes do you make with your Belgium waffle maker? Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.